Hey everybody, it is JPT here, playing Gone Home, a game that, well, I'd always intended on playing, but never got around to it. Heard a lot of interesting things about it, vaguely of course, don't really know what I'm getting myself into, but if you're up for it, let's go on a journey. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. Okay, so here we are. It's apparently raining outside. Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland, flight 270, June 6th, 1995. Click. Nothing, okay. Walk over here. Grab the cup. Press right mouse or left to shift to examine. Just go put that back. Click. 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 <laughs> oh, interesting. Crouching down. Yo, Christmas duck. Ooh. Put that there. Take the house key. Of course, we've got to put the Christmas duck back. There we go. <laughs> Good old Christmas duck. Aren't we clever? I had no idea that I needed to do that. But it's good to know. Seems like we're walking kind of slow. So yeah, this game really, really, really didn't want me in 720. It wanted me at uh, 1280 by 800, and it crashed on me. <laughs> so the edit's a little weird. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Huh. I see what they're talking about with the lights. Well, that's no good. Snap. Again, no clue what's going on. Let's read the note. Directions to work from New House, Flintlock, National Forest Ranger Station. Left on Arbor Hill. Da -da -da -da. What do I feel like? That might be important. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Close that. That seems important. There's a lot of junk in these drawers. Yeesh. Let's get down here and look. Anything important? It's not. There's a closet. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just gonna hide here in the closet. Front hall. Grab the board game. Over the Alps. Novel traveling game for two to six players. It's got some typical wear and tear. Oh, good. Opens that way. Click. Click. What about this light over here? Just going through some stuff. Dear Jan, good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them seriously. But I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level that we've got since Bob transferred to Winnipeg. Just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? 
Let me know if you want to trade places. So how long, how are the girls doing? Has Katie left her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous, right back soon. Interesting. Let's get down here. Boone County Telephone Directory. They still leave those on our doors at home, and it's the biggest waste of paper in the history of paper. Okay, why am I going through my own stuff? This seems kind of weird. Grab the book. Oh, that's the Holy Bible. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything about that that we need to be worried about. Mexico? Regional track finals, girls long jump events. I used to do long jump. I was no good at it. Uh, 100 meter relay. I also did that in real life. Folder. Kitchen, master bed, child bed. Continued on. Dear Katie, so much has changed. Okay. Even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for oh, a year doesn't lights. make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. So, tons of band-aids, just throw them on the floor. Okay, very interactive. Yeah, these old lights are really cool. So many random lights in this house. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. reason I ever hung out with him in the first place was that he had a Nintendo when we were little. So you could see it this way, but I just feel like it's easier for everyone to read the other way. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Weird. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Hmm. I don't think we're going to go upstairs yet. It's a way of zooming in, I guess. Okay, this one's locked. It's kind of like off to find. Hoping to be able to run a little bit, but it doesn't. Oh my gosh! I could see why people don't like walking around. Press two or M to check your location in the house. Okay, so we're here. It's kind of scary. I do not like this. <laughs> Not one bit. Close these doors behind us. Another closet. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School, as we are. Uh, it's kind of hard to read, actually. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets. One line notebook. At least six pens. Yada, yada, yada. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before. First bell to ring at 8 o'clock. Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. 
the Psycho House girl. <sighs> Great. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in a house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. Quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. The service will be held this Sunday in the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. Survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greebrier, as well as in spirit, the people of Boone County, to whom he provided wellness and comfort. I read that like I was on the radio. Let's see anything down here? Nope. Okay. Oh, this is super dark. the things. Examine paper. What? Say so Jack of all trades is master of none, I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication. Oh, a laser disc. Oh yeah, that's about as much as it cost. We used to have a laser disc player. We still do. Yeah, there's stuff in it. You can do better. Oh. So it's all about JFK. There we go. That's better. Huh. Alrighty. Got a highlighter. What's this? Ah. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Oh, I don't know what the combination is. Would we even know? Can we not open this? Okay. Whoa. What the heck? Huh. Oh, yeah, I can't even read that. I run on what I hope to imagine a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are nearly married to a wonderful young woman. I had more than a little time during my long days and nights at the house on Arbor Hill to consider my past and my family, and thoughts have often lingered to your development and welfare in the ten years since last we met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. Oscar Mason. Oh, that's cool. Now that I destroyed the uh, three ring binder. Oh, wait, was that a hidden drawer? It was. Interesting. <laughs> We've messed with that way too much. So many drawers. Wiring this house is typically up to safety and average requirements. However, multiple lower layers are not that lawyers are writing. Layers of wiring have been added to the structure. Hmm. Oh, good. Another telephone directory. Jeez, people act like you know how to use the phone or something. So slow. <laughs> you yeah. Irish whiskey. That's where everybody hides their Irish whiskey, right? A little step down. It's all very atmospheric. Dad's what? Second book, I see. Oh, Gentleman, a magazine for men. Yeah. Gosh, Dad. 
Oh, you can't. You can't hide it. Or you can't pick it up and move it. <laughs> oh, 0451. David asked me to write you in regard to the reviews you've been submitting in the last few months. I think it's becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back into it. It's going to be harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sicatoa from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. Home theater or fiction audio want to hear about the quality and the value of the hardware, not limitations on your childhood. Interesting. Um. Okay. Oh four five one. Let's go try that. Before I forget. Even though that's clearly my pin number. Not really. How funny would it be if you saw that in a video game? Oh wait, I totally entered that wrong. Boom. Please find enclosed your original document, typed copy for your records, notarized copy has been filed for offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Oh, declare this is my last will and testament. Let's read it this way. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County. I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name and any creditors living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value which I may die possessed, including dwelling surrounding areas located at Arbor Hill. Oh, interesting. In the event that uh, should be preceding me, then in such event, bequests shall fall to the same as bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence and stewards of the estate. Huh. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it's basically the same thing. Well, that's interesting. So we would have gotten everything if what's his face? My dad. I did, I guess, right? There we go. Our tissue box, put back. Oh, let's turn the lamp on. Grab the coaster. Nothing fishy. Occasional. Dun, dun, dun. Some weird notes. Let's leave those books there. Dad. Let's go this back this way. Guess we should probably turn the lights off as we exit the rooms. That would be nice. There you go. Leave that other one on. There's some sort of radio on. Ah. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevation. Tapes. Ah, uh, EAS. Can we just turn that off? It's kind of annoying. There we go. I'm sure it'll tell us something super important. Making friends even when you're shy. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them? and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform. And she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven nice. every day after school. Harukin. Okay, that is super loud. <laughs> that is so loud. Hey man, how have you been? I know you've published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Affection Audio has too much review work to go around. He's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in the last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to get a publisher for your latest work of literature, and writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds. Included some issues with the magazine. Da 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 da. Man, Dad just leaves his stuff all over the place. VHS, a drama to strain. <laughs> nice. Airplane, Moonraker. Moonraker. Robocop, Blade Runner, Director's Cut. Heck yeah, JFK. 
X Files season one, yeah. <laughs> Time Machine, oh, that's a good one. Plus Clue, Fantastic Voyage, and Top Gun. Oh, I love this game already. <laughs> Ghostbusters and Labyrinth. Yeah. I don't think we went through all this. 2001, Dark Crystal. X Files. A ton of VHS. Grab soda can. Fizz right. Ginger ale. The Pioneer unit with the remote and cables. We need half page review. October issue. Okay. Yeah, where is it? That's interesting. That is very interesting. Bratmobile. Or Brat Mobile. <laughs> Guess I'm not sure which. Coliseum. Pulp Fiction. Oh, this is such a nostalgia trip. Oh, nice. Dr. Jitters. Hunting's and Poltergeist. So somebody was playing underneath there. The closet. The Turtle People. Part 1. Captain Allegra looked up at the ocean. It went on forever. Or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge, get to the paradise there. Then she heard cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. First mate said, Looks like you thought too soon. Black ship came along the side. Captain Black himself came to the deck of the black ship, yelled to Captain Allegra, Yar never gonna find the edge. That are no paradise, ya fighter with a liar. <laughs> Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. <laughs> Battle kept going on until Captain Allegra's script got away. Now west, she said. The ship sailed towards the sunset. Cute. Boink. Okay. Music was super loud. We'll go this way. Get the eraser. Coupons. Nice. There's some, some details. Forestry manual. Do not distribute to the public. They shall never see something like this. Okay, Dad's office, the library, now we're in the hallway. Oh gosh. What's this place? The music room. Man, we got a lot of cool rooms in here. Heck yeah. I want one of these. World history. Oh my gosh, I had a textbook that looked almost exactly like that. Lower two stories. The events are all out of order. Get a sheet of lined paper. Write reproductive symptom <laughs> worksheet number six at the top. Then choose one of the stories and then rewrite it. Oh, the menstrual cycle. Oh. Search the window of the train. Is it? What? <laughs> this is strange. I'm sorry, I'm reading I'm not I'm just reading this myself real quick. How is this What? <laughs> Strange. I love this cabinet. Music's so loud. Gosh, there's records everywhere. So many of books from Dad. <laughs> nice. Grab the bottle. What is it? It's hard to tell. Ah, vodka. 
Vodga. What's in here? Archie informed you, unfortunately, Mercury Books will be unable to publish the follow-up to the Accidental Pariah. Despite the low sales of the Accidental Savior, we went ahead into publication of the second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales of the second book have in fact been low. Womp womp. Sorry, Dad. Little bar in the music room. Man. Dave Brubrecht Quartet. It's a weirdly shaped house. Coupons everywhere, lip balm, drawers, highlighters. I'm hearing noises. Please tell mom and dad sorry about all the stuff that's missing, Sam. Interesting. So, wanted to come to my house so this afternoon. That would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far. I can drive you home too if that's fine. Right back. Leave this in my locker if you still want me in the parking lot. I'm totally in. See you there. Kick your bike. Get ready. You. Okay. Oh, I see. Street fighter. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up what? the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. Ah. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the better part of next week as part of the Forestry Service run controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation, smoke will likely linger. Okay, so we we got in the newspaper. A really weird house. Why would why would you have a giant staircase like this go to nothing? Just the end of a hallway. Seems poorly designed. To me, they have kind of uh, major expertise, oversight. As you can see, I'm pair of sort of just grabbing things. Weekly planner. Cooking class, take apron. Cooking class, cooking class, ballroom dancing. Interesting. Nothing in there. Mobile potty mouth. Oh, it flipped open. That's cool. Oh, sweet. Cherry bomb. Cherry bomb. Oh, wait. What did that say? You're gonna like this one. That's so cool. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and... Other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like <laughs> instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour that, that and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. <laughs> I haven't stopped playing it since. Close the door. There's so many ah, so many three ring binders in this house. But nothing in them. Grab the cassettes. Insert the super loud tape. The cat returns. Okay, yeah. That music's just too loud. Can I just turn it down? Maybe it's not to be as aggressive. Kind of takes us out. Sorry about that. 
Ah, yes. Helicopter kick, air stop. Yeah, that's gone. Laser disc is gone. All that stuff is gone. All the electronics and stuff. Super Spitfire. Journey of Crystal. Okay, we don't know the combination. What's this about? Huh. <laughs> I haven't had that much to drink, Jody Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? That's super 90s right there. Awesome. Not a challenging assignment. Metal plaque for a family portrait. Reasonable subject, but not complex. Oh, yeah, we saw that downstairs. C minus. Yeah, it wasn't that good. <laughs> I want to believe. Yes. Don't we all? Veruca Salt wants it now. So much lip balm. Kurt Cobain. Ah, oh, yes. So many lamps. The Misfits. Another three ring binder. I'm sure those are important. I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. English creative writing. Three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship. Interesting. Okay, so that does it for that. That's a weird way of getting into... S there's two doors into someone's room? That's strange. Grab the board game. Got your number. Are you going to dance with anyone? Who's got a crush on you? Oh, how do we... Do you like sports? Would you introduce me to your friend? So dreamy. Huh, Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended to the single shining thread onto their lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their gold, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She quickly... She swept chalky bone dust from in front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. The silken thread, nigh unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind leading their way back to the entrance. Yeah, definitely on a creative writing track. Uh, further into the labyrinth, the moaning began to echo. The moaning began louder and clearer. The king's cursed voice, the hairs of Captain Allegra's arms, stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the passage for a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. First mate nodded silently ahead. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal and rotted robes, the king was a or was hunched over, a blue orb topping his royal scepter. As he sang, wailing sounds flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls, pulled into the orb, causing it to grow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hewn from rock laid or led down to the chamber from the passage at top. Allegra said, We have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention, then you... But first mate interrupted. No, I am smaller and quicker, and I know the dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention, and lead them on a merry chase. She held up the silk line. All traced by this invisible thread, of course. It is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. First mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate... Tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and wink, and dashed off. I'm gonna take a drink there. Doing a lot of talking. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. King continued his wait. No, no, the singing stopped. King turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. King was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst into the passageway. Skidded to a stop, then turned and ran, the king chasing after her with distressing speed. From some dank passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then stuttered. Fell slack to the stone floor. Allegra ran following the line, came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply as its end frayed in her hand. She tossed it back to the, round, to the ground and ran, ran, ran. 
You know what I'm waiting for? To turn around and have someone just standing there. <gasps> Is this a trapper keeper? Looks like it is. Another holy Bible. Mitten. Meow. Close. Pull the string, close the door. Scrutinize. Stare. <laughs> I can never see those things. Interesting. Alright, what's this? Oh, no way. Yes. I have a bike just like this. It's the one me and my dad are building. Want to join for a ride when it's done? Heck, to the yeah. Although mine's more powerful. Always look at the trash. Mr. Brantley observed Mrs. DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can laying Paps Blue Ribbon. Nice. In the option to turn her shirt inside out, change it to a shirt from the gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Chose suspension. Very nice. Kind of fast tracking, aren't we? Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. It's either good or we can make fun of him for liking it. Mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. So it's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. I think Todd's going to come so he can see it if, again, if that's okay. Don't barf. Yeah, something like that. So that was Sam's room that we were just in. Ah, another bathroom. Toothpaste, nail polish. Yes. Emery board. Whoa. Uh oh. Hair dye. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? Something it felt like intimate. That. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited, and the moment was gone. Business card. Unknown dimension literature. Yeah, so why can't we close this door? Okay, now I can. That was weird. I'm in the channel. This is my second passage to the channel. I'm on my way back from London. This is going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. And it was great. Dad, I know you're always wanting to visit, and I think you really should. You would love it. If you wanted to come back here as a family, someone... Sometime I guess I could be convinced. Katie. some clothes lots of jeans how do you cram that many jeans in the drawer Ooh. Condom. at least it's not used the armoire man someone took all the electronics Inside Edition, Sound of Music, Gone with the Wind. This family is all about the movies. Jeez, where did they get all these movies from? There's some good movies in here. Just gonna say. Aw, oh, Mitten. 
Our cat. You dirty underwear. Oh, we can't open these? That sucks. Toothbrush, shaving cream, toothpaste. Give me something gross in here. Rediscovering your spouse. Personally, spiritually, sexually. Wow, oh, it's so cool that they've made everything sort of just like legit. You can look all the way around it and read it. It doesn't seem like there's anything important in here. Mm, maybe in here. This does not seem very bright at all. Watercolor technique. Huh. Curious. Huh. That's very typical. Another three ring binder. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives in the same house. Oh, sorry, I'm tired. Uh, kids grow up and go away. Meantime, though, it's a controlled burn that sounds like quite like the adventure. Keep your chin up. Okay. Take your time. Rick. Who's Rick? Huh. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Can we open Mom's purse? Guess not. Nope. Guess we'll go this way. What the heck? Oh, dark room. Oh, I'm gonna go in there. Mom and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Uh, yikes. So dark in here. You're asking what my JRTC ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Okay. Tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. Faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said, hello. Did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Poured milk from the carton in the fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. Ooh. Ghost milk. Oh. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. I suddenly began to feel cold. We built a protective pillow for it. Lonnie and I empty the Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages or employ. Conveyed from the other side. Oscar definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Interesting. Huh. It's so hard to see. I'm missing something. I just tried to jump, by the way. I hit the space bar. Just close these doors. Five, 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 five. Wait, what just happened? Oh, that's weird. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Ribbon. 
Dot matrix. Nice. Good old ranger danger. Okay, so there's another tape around here probably. Just have to find it. Don't forget your costume. Okay, I think the text thing is now broke. So let me see. Let me just turn it off then. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she <laughs> up and hugged me. Nice. I think she could tell. Oh, sweet. Holy crap, I was in the library and noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage. Mom and Dad's room, closet, then stairs? What? Nice. Makes you want to backtrack. I have one of these in my room. <laughs> I use it as a side table. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. Shut up. <laughs> Seriously. That needs to be like a whole different setting that you can turn on and off. Not just sound effects, because I want to hear the creeps and crellies and weird stuff, but that's just too loud. Alright, so apparently in Mom and Dad's room, there's some crazy thing going on. And then there's the dark room. Which is locked, okay. Let's go back to Mom and Dad's room, take a look. I'm sure we're going to get freaked out by something. It apparently was in here. Let's go ahead and turn the lights on. Secret passage. <gasps> what? What the heck? No light? Oh my god. What the hell? <laughs> Uh, no thanks. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. We're just going to put that down there and suck it up. Put our big boy pants on. Hidden compartments found. Three library upstairs hall foyer. Evidence of the supernaturals. Oh, so your room has one too. And so does the library. Okay. Oh, sweet. They're marked on the map. So to the attic. To the downstairs. Dad's office. Okay. This is weird. I don't like this. Not one bit. I can't. Oh my god. I'm leaving all the lights on in this house. That is the freakiest thing in the world. Huh. And I'm going to close these panels. So apparently there's one in her room. It's like gulp. Mm -hmm. Is this the room that has one? No. Oh, it's right here. Right? Yes. What? Okay. 
Didn't realize we were going to need a notepad. So zero. Okay, we'll remember that. Oh, added to the backpack. Good. Hello, who are you? Oscar. Whoa, it's like snowing like cray cray right now. I just looked over and it's like snowmageddon. Snowmageddon. Okay. So we got this panel. And then dad's office. And then out in the foyer. All right. So did we explore everything? I think we did, for the most part. So now we're going downstairs. Aha. 51. Private, do not read. Heaven at the edge of the world. Ninth grade. Oh my gosh. Okay, if you guys want to read this, feel free. I'm just glazing. <laughs> glazing? Um, okay. So let's go open that combination. 051. Now I know how to open a combination in real life. Let's just see if I can do it in a video game. these doors because I'm freaked out. Into the combination. Oh wait, what? Oh, well, that's nice that they did it that way. Remarkably smooth. Okay, so we got some cigarettes. Ooh, <gasps> basement key. Lonnie came over today. But everything was different. She was sitting huh. in my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Pesamante, why is it so dark? Holy crap, it's dark. Okay, light, you better not go out on me. Whoa. Creepy. Crab chips. Nom nom nom. I'd like to cordially thank you for having me to your abode for the Thanksgiving holiday with your lovely family. Enjoy the flavorful potatoes, and also it was weird being around your parents for a long. It was pretty funny how impossible it is for your dad not to be awkward for more than 30 seconds at a time. Lonnie. Dear Mrs. DeSoto, allow me to take this opportunity to thank you in kind for being such a gracious host for the festivities of your father's estate following the aforementioned meal with my parents. Wow, these are fancy words. Your family's Thanksgiving feast was more enjoyable of the two events, I must say. Uh, I especially appreciate the time I spent with your grandmother, who is a lovely woman with sterling taste in a refined air. Let's do it again sometime next year, shall we? <laughs> Funny. Okay. Whoa. Oh, freak me out, string. Okay, got a drawing. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. 
I mean, I guess again. that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone or go home for the night, Plus. where it's just quiet and we're alone, we say I love you. Aww. Yeah, we're leaving all these lights on. First place, science fair. Something very creepy about all of this. I like the details here. The lamp is oddly knocked over. Congratulations, form you your mission to the creative writing track. Why is all this stuff just randomly thrown around the house? Well, you got admitted, Samantha. Good job. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, huh. ship out? Weird. To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, Whoa. after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, huh. let's just have fun while we can. Mom citizenship. Interesting. Yeah, so this looks like a letter from his dad. Certainly recognized my son in the subject matter. Author's work is externalization of what she holds dear. But the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre, uh, genre cliches and implausible uh, dime store science fictional de dot machinia. Ex machina. Ex machina. Always have to think about that word before I can say it. Ex machina. Dear Sam, I'm writing you from Multima Falls here, a stupid class trip. Man, there's a giant old snowflakes outside. Wish you were here. Oh, what, you were here because I'm writing this to your gift shop. <laughs> nice. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The biggest basement. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie oh, girl. pushed aside. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Break it out. Stick with the group. Now what the heck is this? Another secret room. This house is all freaking me out. Who owns a house like this? Senior high school. Uh, defaced school property with profanity. The fact that she allegedly defaced her own locker in retaliation for another student doing the same. As uh, your complaint, no student has been punished for their in part. It's in fact no guilty party has come forward. Been no convincing evidence. Suggest letting this issue drop as it only bring more unwanted attention. I like how this stuff is like. Typed I don't get Lonnie in the sometimes. Same way that it would have been like back in the day. Her band and our zine and her hair and everything are all anti authority. But I watch her in JROTC and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all Love this the stuff details. in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said they don't need to know huh. what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. 
Skeleton Devil's Cheerleaders from Smells Like Teen Spirit video. Okay. Psycho House Girl. Cool stuff about being the Psycho House Girl. Cool thing. Number one, everybody in the hall thinking you don't know that they're looking at you and whispering as you walk past because I guess they haven't heard of peripheral. What? <laughs> okay. Whatever. Did I go up here? Or in here? Oh my gosh. What? I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. Freaking out. <laughs> this house is weird. And I want to build a house with secret passageways just like this. Because I'm just as weird. Uh, where are we? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Where is this? Huh. Yeah, where is this? Some random room? Oh, it's how you get to the other... I see. That's how you get to the... What you call it? In Espanol. Services need for experienced personnel to direct regional operations. We'd like to offer you the position of Regional Conservation Management Director. Hey, Lonnie. Sorry my mom was such a bitch last night. She's hardly ever around since her force is like an hour away. And then when she is home, she takes it out on you. It's okay. And she's just jealous of her cool and free willing lifestyle. Sorry I didn't mean to bring up the mom thing like that. I know I shouldn't have complained. No, I'm being serious. My mom is like psycho Christian. I'd rather live with your mom in Florida. Oh, good. Froth. <laughs> I wonder if there's like some secret goal to pick up all the pens and pencils. Okay. Oops, that's what I meant to do. The skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Christmas. Treasure it always. Yeah, we saw that. Ha! Ah, put the lid back on. Lights. Ah, oh, the dining room. Another purse for mom. Someday these will open. Got two tickets. Just want to go taste music and da, 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 da. wait. What? Ah. These me with an extra ticket. Thought you might be interested in more than clearing brush in the freezing rain. Oh, I see what's happening here. I see what's happening here. Disturbing inappropriate materials on school grounds, phone calls, students, parents. Since you refused to hear us out this afternoon, your mother and I are putting this in writing so that we are absolutely clear. You're grounded for the rest of the month from social and telephone something privileges and then from using your car for anything except for going to and from school. We understand what you're going through, but you can't allow to continue this kind of behavior at school. And clearly, once your privileges are reinstated, we can't allow you to have your... Bedroom door closed while Lonnie is in the house. This is the last word on the matter. Oh, wow. This stuff happens. I had an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight. One you were never going to need to have. I mean, you've known, right? I've known. I've known since, like, she -Ra. Mom and dad didn't, I guess. But they saw the zine and heaven. stuff on the locker, and they were like, is there something we should know about you and Lonnie? And so here's the thing. I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something. But they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. 
You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. But that's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them, because they're in for one very long phase. Wait, what's this? Another button? The gits. Gits. Yeah. <laughs> no turning lamps off. Don't give up on this, honey. What? Oh, maybe there's something there. How do I turn this light on? <laughs> so I'm not a fan. Uh, okay, so nothing on the floor. Now where am I? Oh my gosh. This house is enormous. Cups, 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 cups. Plates. Cups, 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 cups. Hmm. Invitation. 4th of June, 1995. At half past four o'clock. Okay. Frozen spinach. It'd be awesome if we found something cool in here. Like a body. <laughs> Grab veggies. Cookie caramel. Mm. Cola. Generic. Wait. Relish. Grab cheese. Grab a banana. <laughs> Look at the banana. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. In there. <laughs> so many cups. Okay. Why are the drawers all jacked up like this? Are they remodeling? What the heck happened in here? Anniversary trip. Okay, so that makes sense. Another phone book. Nothing on the phone. Like, <laughs> I think it's funny that all these letters are just randomly throughout the house. Maybe I just organized my uh, correspondence different. So many three ring binders. Oh gosh. Oh, this must be the garage. Wait, what? Accidental pariah. A message from our future saved the president once. Within 24 hours, there'll be another attempt. Kind of want to read that. Uh, miss it, find you well. Uh, find you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? Worry not. We, are the f we aren't the feds, the men in black, or any other sort of creeping... Unknown Dimension is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We traffic in the weird ahead of its time. Long but not forgotten. We've had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago. Unearthing arriving. Your accidental series. Church Roman Sale in Long Breach, New Jersey. Been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's kind of a forgotten portal into 20th century civilization's anxieties. I want your permission to reprint the work since your original... Publisher Mercury Books followed, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new forward for the books to appear brand new editions. Oh, cool. Good job, Dad. Man, look at all these details. That's so cool. So much paint. What's this? 
Sam, your brother and I will walk all along weekend celebrating our anniversary. We'll be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still in renovation. Never trust a contractor. Forty dollars on the table to order pizza. Yeah, so Sam's gone. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Where's that 40 bucks? She must have ordered the pizza. Potato chips. I'm catching on what's what's going on here. It's an interesting pantry. Just regular old broom. Okay. So we've been to the kitchen, been to the dining room. Been through the basements. We haven't been to the attic. That's the one I'm most concerned about. Oh, did I leave the fridge open? Sorry. Whole magazine. Is there not a light in here? Yeah, just your normal stuff. Okay. Oops. What's this? Ah, oh, the washroom. Laundry room. Anything fun in here? Softener. Softly. Ooh, greenhouse. That's cool. Anything hiding under here? What we need to know about? The accidental pariah. So many notes in there. The accidental human. Okay. Strong pines. Couple counseling retreat. Ah. Mm hmm. Well, I see. You went on a couple's retreat. Dr. Russell back in print. Thank you very much for sending along copies of the new editions. Cover art is really something. I know you've said Unknown Dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my book has bought a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey. Hmm. Curious. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the call. Twice he saved President's life, practically forgotten the days of the future. Familiar rip in time opens in front of him. Handler's purity doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No. The life you save this time will be your own. Dun dun dun. So the foyer, there's a secret door under the stairs. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off, then ran up to the attic to look through our photos, to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past, and there wouldn't be any more. Hmm. I didn't know what I was going to do, and I cried, and she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. That I can't live without her. Oh uh, boy. Then she dedicated the last song to me. 
I couldn't take it. <laughs> I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. Yes. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Oh boy. This is making me feel nervous. It's definitely pulling on the heartstrings a bit. I get that. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah, we'll turn the lamps on. Nice. Okay, let's start back here. Got some holly. Always remember what we had. Love you, Lonnie. Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie in my old spot. And I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie. On a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic. And she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us and that she couldn't go through with it with the army and being a part and all of it and so she got off the bus in Salem she said Sam I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me and let's just drive until we find somewhere for us and she asked me if I could do that and I said, yes. Yes. I was trying to read that. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad and you won't hate me and you'll just know that I am where I need to be I love you so much Katie I'll see you again someday love Sam huh well that is a different game experience I must say Fulbright Company that is that is really cool I really enjoyed that um, I knew it would be around the two hour mark at the longest so that works oh Sarah and Sarah so that's going to do it for this it's kind of a one shot pony one trick pony I guess one shot pony uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you want to see more random one-offs like this. And until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games. And I'll be seeing you.